Hey folks, David Fine here from Keys Moths. Today, we are going through some of the moths of the Florida Keys and we are gonna focus on Protambulux. Is it Stragilus? Is it Carteri? Well, guess what? It is a big, beautiful tropical moth that is very, very, very common in South Florida and I'm gonna show you all I know about this incredible creature and guys, uh, there's a debate on what it's called. And I've had very well-respected entomologists call it both Protambulus carteri and Protambulus strigillus. The streak sphinx, the carter sphinx. You decide, in fact, comment down below what you think this is called. But guys, let's get into the video as we describe this tropical South Florida beauty. All right, guys, this is Protambulus Strigillus carteri, there's a debate. The Carter Sphinx is known from the Bahamas and was named after a Bahamian president. Um, there's another one that looks very similar called Protambulus strigillus, the streaked Sphinx. And some people call this bug in South Florida that we have strigillus. Some people call it carteri. Which one is it? Well, you decide. In fact, they are highly variable. So it could be that we have both and we've got a bunch of different variations of the same bug. But guys, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share my experience with this bug. This is the first one I've ever seen. I remember I got this one when I was about 12 years old on a gas station in Broward County. And it's got this beautiful brick red hind wing coloration. I remember thinking it was absolutely stunning. And so. Uh, it's still got the purple sheen on the hind on the forewing, which means that it's a very fresh specimen. And if you turn it over, the underside's got this really nice brick red coloration as well. Now, this bug feeds on as a larval host some very toxic plants. It feeds on Brazilian pepper, Shinus terebenthifolia, and which is actually sort of related to. Uh, poison ivy, if I remember correctly, uh, the sap from that tree gets me big time. If I get Brazilian pepper sap on my hands or my skin, it really irritates me big time. And so I got to try to be careful with that. Uh, the other one it feeds on is poison wood. And so guys, this bug, the caterpillar feeds on some very, very toxic plants. Uh, so both of which are very common in South Florida. And that is why they are so common. In fact, in the Florida Keys, guys, this bug can be found in every month and in, on every key because those plants live on every key. And this is a tropical bug that has continuous generations throughout the year. And, you know, it is what it is. So guys, which whichever one it is, if it's Stragillus, if it's Carteri, I'm not sure, but we've got some really cool variations uh, we've got this brick red coloration one that we have here. We've got another variation, which is like this tan colored thing with the golden hind wing. Now you can see both of these individuals have very lightly marked hind wings, but then we've got more heavily marked hind wings like this or like this. Look at the hind wing markings on this. Very strong markings on this hind wing of this moth. Then, if, then we've got this one here that's got like a two-tone thing going on. We've got a brick coloration and we've got the, the gold coloration on the inside. Very cool. And now there, there's a number of, actually I have five individuals. I have this row right here uh, that goes across right here. There's four right there. And then I pulled this one out that are different than all the rest. And the reason they're different is because of the broadness of the forewing. Look at the difference in the shape of the forewing with this one, which is more rounded and broad. And then there's this one, which is more narrow and seemingly aerodynamic. Now, I'm not sure what the deal is, guys, if this is a different species or if this is just a variation in the size of the wing or wing shape. Uh, this, oops, this is a female, but so is this. And so you can tell these are both females and they definitely have a very different wing shape. So I'm gonna try and get to the bottom of it. If you know what the deal is, please tell me, comment down below if you know 
what the scoop is. Now, uh, one cool thing, if you wanna hunt for their caterpillars and you're looking on the poisonous trees, which is kind of interesting because if you get sap on you, it's very, very uncomfortable. One thing you can do is you go out at night with a UV flashlight. And, the, and if you shine the UV flashlight up in the, in the poison wood tree or in the Brazilian pepper trees, the caterpillars of this thing light up like fluorescent green in the, under the UV light, which is pretty cool. Uh, I've got a video on that where we found glowing caterpillars. So guys, it's a very common moth. Uh, one cool thing about this species, let me see if I can show you the hind leg. The legs on these guys have these really sharp little spikes coming out of the legs. And when you pick them up, they try to stab you with these things, which is kind of, I mean, they don't like really stab you, but they try, they try to dig it into your skin, which makes it a little uncomfortable. Uh, so you gotta get out, make sure you have a decent grip if you're picking one up. And then finally, this moth actually has the ability to make some noises and actually they make like a, it almost sounds like a cicada. And it's a very, very interesting sounding moth uh, because it makes a noise when you pick it up and they try to get you to let them go. So uh, guys, that's about all. They, they readily come to UV lights. So if you put a mercury vapor light out or a black light, you will get the Pertambulux moths of South Florida. But hope you liked the video, guys. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Like the video, that helps out our channel. And we're gonna put out a ton more videos because we've got tons more bugs to show you from the Florida Keys, guys. We're gonna go over all these moths in excruciating detail. And uh, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to our channel because you don't wanna miss any of the action, especially when we go over moths like this faithful beauty. Look at that thing. Isn't that incredible? Or the Io Moth. Look at that. Guys, um, also shout out to the Southern Lepidoptera Society. Uh, I would very strongly recommend, if you're interested in butterflies and moths of the United States, to go ahead and join the Southern Lepidoptera Society. It's probably about 30 bucks a year. And you can join that society by clicking on the link in my description. I'm going to go ahead and link the, um, their website in the description of this video. And you can go on their website and go into the registration thing and, and become a member. And you get a bunch of newsletters and you get, we have field trips and we have an annual meeting where we get to uh, discuss the butterflies and moths of the Southern United States. So guys, if you'd like to do that, I strongly recommend doing that. I've met some wonderful people in that society. Uh, guys, but until uh, next time, let's get out there and enjoy South Florida. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, look at that thing. Cool bug. <laughs> guys, take care.